F. Divina from 6th standard B and today's scientist is Louis Braille. Louis Braille of French education was the inventor of Braille, a worldwide system used by blind and visually impaired people for reading and writing. He also went on to lay the foundations of the Braille representation of music and in 1829 published the method of writing words, music and playing songs by means of dots for use by the blind and arranged by them. Louis was born on January 4th in 1809 in Copre, France. In 1812, he became blind at the age of three when he was trying to cut leather with an awl in his father's saddle shop. The owl slipped and went into his eye. An injury to his eye at age three resulted in total loss of vision in both eyes. Seven years later, on February 15, 1819, his family sent him off to the National Institute of for Blinding Children. There he began to play the piano and the organ. Charles Barbia visited the school. He shared his invention called night writing, a code of 12 rice dot that let soldiers share top secret information on the battlefield without even having to speak. Unfortunately, the code was too hard for the soldiers but not for 12 years old Louis. Louis trimmed Barbia's 12 dots into 6 and out now the system by the time he was 15. Then published the first ever Braille book in 1829 and revised it in 1837. Including all the letters of the French alphabet, W was added later. Punctuation, mathematical symbols and even musical notation was in there. In 1837, he added symbols for math and music, but since the public was skeptical, blind students had to study Braille on their own. With this system, they could read quickly with a touch of a finger. They took up little space than conventional printer letters. The Braille system, as it came to be known, made it possible to place the world's literature at the fingertips of blind people. Braille later developed tuberculosis and ultimately died on January 6, 1852. Now it's quiz time and today's question is which system is used by blind and visually impaired people for reading and writing in worldwide. Stay tuned. Keep watching. Thank you.